All right, today we are gonna do an exciting golf cart tour. So one of the benefits of Cane Bay is you can ride on golf carts and you can go to different neighborhoods. You can go to Publix. And today we are dropping off my daughter, Claire, to school. And I got a little cameos right here. So this is Claire. And this is Hank sitting in the back, taking a little golf cart ride with us. Let's do this thing. What's up y'all, this is Dave Broom, licensed realtor in Charleston, South Carolina. This is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about this amazing city of Charleston and living, working, exploring, eating, chilling, and definitely playing in Charleston, South Carolina, then tap the subscribe button and hit the bell so you know when new videos come to the channel um, and you can check them out. And to be honest, my team and I are getting calls every single day from people who are looking to move to the Charleston area. So if you're looking to move or relocate to Charleston, you can give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can do this days, nights, weekends, and we can get that preliminary conversation started for your move down here. All right, today we have the video blog or the vlog of Cane Bay and riding the golf cart to school. I'm taking my daughter to school. Hopefully she's not late for me filming this. Um, this is Claire Bear, my daughter. This is Hank in the back helping out. We already dropped the other two off at school um, with the golf cart. So this is just a little tour of Cane Bay and showing that the golf cart trails are so cool and you can get to a lot of different places using the golf cart trails. All right, we're starting in Westlake where I live, which is the back of Cane Bay. Uh, the homes are anywhere from 400,000. I can get all the way up to 650, 700,000, depending on the house. Um, across the way here is uh, Lockton. Lockton is across the street here. Lockton has very big houses. Well, we'll stop in a minute. I got a car right behind me. All right, we're gonna stop. We're gonna go in the golf cart path. This is Westlake. But across the street is Lockton. Homes in the Lockton area are range anywhere from four to 700,000 again, but they are gigantic houses. They have a lot of square footage over here. I will show you the other half of Lockton as we move down the trail. All right, so here is the golf cart trail. Don't mind my little dirty windshield. I gotta wipe that off. It was rainy yesterday, but here is the trail. It goes down the left-hand side. There is a trail on the other side of the road too, but it doesn't um, go as far. There's gaps in the trail. This side of the road has a full trail. So they are building a new 55 plus community right here. Okay, this is Cane Bay Boulevard on the right hand side. They're building the 55 plus right here. Another thing to look forward to is the beautiful South Carolina skies. Yes, the skies. The sun sets and the skies and the clouds are so beautiful. Yes, they are. So here is the building over here. They're building the 55 plus. Here it is. There's a fire department right up here on the right hand side. And as we come up, we are going to be coming up on another 55 plus community This to the left here. This is called the Four Seasons. It has some gorgeous homes ranging from the 400s up to the 600s right around in there. Um, but gorgeous ho homes, gorgeous amenities. Uh, they have a nice, uh, like a ballroom area in there. It's just a nice place to live if you are retiring. Um, they also help you with your garden and they cut your grass. So there's a lot of different features with the 55 plus community up in there. So as we come up the trail here, this is the Four Seasons on the left. I to make sure I'm paying attention driving as well as filming, so. Okay, to the, so this is the Four Seasons on the left. We're gonna come up to it and around it. So this is the Four Seasons. Cane Bay Four Seasons, 55 plus community. Like I was saying, gorgeous houses back in there. And across the street over there is, is uh, locked in the other side. They're building more houses in Lockton. I think they're building up to 80 new lots in Lockton. Those giant big houses, a lot of room, a lot of features in those houses. Um, very affordable for the amount of features that you get in those houses. A right, little lake on the left here. It's coming up to the coves. On the left hand side, the coves are cool because it looks like Rainbow Row with all the different colors of houses up here. But the, the coves is a very cool community because of the house colors and features. A very quiet community and it just ha it does have the Rainbow Row colors and people like that and it's a cool feature to have because all most of the houses are different colors and it's cool to see and, and they're beautiful houses. Here's the back side of the coves that you see from the golf cart trail. 
Everyone waves around here too. Which is cool, it's a little southern hospitality. As you can see, we just drive right down the trail. We are actually, we're gonna drop Claire off at school and then we're gonna go to hop to Publix real quick, Hank and I. We're gonna get some groceries. You can just take a golf cart and go get some groceries, which is very, very cool. All right, so this is coming up on the coves. Like uh, the coves are anywhere from 450, they can get up to about 750, some of the houses, the bigger houses. It's a very nice community. Um, a lot of charm in there and the houses are colors. It it's also backs up to a big lake. Yeah, that's the coves. Across the way over there is Saxony Lake. Similar priced homes. Um, but uh, you can get some starting in the 300s up to 500s in Saxony Lake. It's a little bit cheaper than these other communities. All right, as you continue down the trail, we come up to another 55 plus community. This is Del Webb of Cane Bay. Gorgeous uh, landscaping in there. They have, it's a gated community, just like the Four Seasons was. So you have to get checked in and out, which is an extra layer of security. Um, the landscaping is amazing. That They have a really big ballroom area and um, like a conference type center there. They have nice pool, shuffleboard courts, tennis courts. Lakes everywhere, beautiful lakes. Um, it is the morning right now, so it is a little chilly. For South Carolina, it's probably like almost 60, but it's a little chilly right now. But this is the Del Webb at Cane Bay. As we continue down, on the other side of the path is the YMCA, which offers um, gym memberships. It offers um, swimming lessons. There's a bunch of sports that my kids do at the YMCA. It's a great YMCA, and you can take your golf cart to it, which is a great plus as well. All right, after the YMCA is the hammocks, the neighborhood. Hammocks have three phases. The third phase is being built right now. Some bigger houses, they range, and the hammocks it ranges from 300 all the way up to probably 600,000. There's some nice newer houses back in there. And as you can see, just the golf cart trail is just a nice, Nice trail, it's uh, an amazing thing to do in the morning when you're taking your kids to school. And, or if you wanna to go to the grocery store or go to Buffalo Wild Wings or go get some coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, it's a great, it's a great time to bond with your kids. Claire Bear's a little cold right now. She's whining it's cold, even though we're from Buffalo and this would be warm in Buffalo. But we've been down here a couple years, so we, our blood is definitely thin and it's definitely colder when it gets into the 50s and 60s. Hank is even talking about it back there. He's enjoying, loves the golf cart rides. Even when he's having a cranky day, you can get him on the golf cart. He loves the wind blowing in his face and just absolutely loves it. All right, we're coming up on a couple of other neighborhoods. This is the Oaks on the left-hand side. Similar price houses from the threes to fives. And then Lindera Preserve on the right-hand side. Claire was trying to correct me. I knew it was Lindera. Lindera Preserve on the right-hand side. They have two pools over there. A lot of different houses back in there. And they also offer right around the threes to the fives. All right, so this, continuing down the trail, we have the Oaks again on the left-hand side. This is just another exit. Then on the other side, we have another side of Saxony Cove, which we saw. Just continuing down the trail. Fire's still cold over here. Hank's still singing back there. Got it. Okay. Okay, this little lake in the back of the oaks right here. The oaks are some nicer houses, like we were saying. There's different colors at the oaks too, just not quite as colorful as the coves, but definitely some nice houses. All right, then as we continue down, you can see a bus coming here. This is Old Rice. Old Rice is a big area closer to the school with neighborhoods. Uh, these houses can range anywhere from 250 up to about 450. So these are a little more affordable options if you're looking for it. This is Old Rice on the, and it's closer to the school. So if you have kids, they can walk to school. They can ride their scooters. They can ride, it's an easy golf cart ride or people do ride their bikes as well. All right, this is Old Rice again with the playground up in here. And then what's cool about with the golf carts is they have these tunnels where you don't have to cross the street. You can go under the tunnel and go to the other side if you want to get over there. All right, this is still Old Rice as we continue down the trail. Nicer houses back in here. 
like I said, these can start in the 250s, so they're more affordable options if you're looking for that. They are a little older than the other neighborhoods, but they are still nice houses. A lot of them have been redone in that. So this is old rice. Across the street over there is Sanctuary Cove, another neighborhood that's across from Old Rice. So it, it would be closer to the schools, closer to Publix and that. We're coming down the wooded area of the trail here. All right, this is still Old Rice. Old Rice is a very big neighborhood. A lot of different homes back in there, affordable homes. This is the other side of Old Rice. And then we are going to hit a trail in a minute and go up to the schools. All right, so this is from Old Rice, and then there's a trail right up here that we're gonna take. And it comes out to the high school athletic fields. It's down in here, it gets a little narrow down in here. You gotta be careful. Two golf carts can't fit too easily down in here, so you gotta stop. But this is the back of Old Rice again. That is Cane Bay Boulevard on the right-hand side in the schools. There's the elementary school across the way. I know it's hard to see with the trees. There is the middle school up here a little bit, and then we're gonna come out to the high school. All right, and then through the trail, we come out to the athletic fields. Up here, this is the high school athletic fields. Across the way there is the middle school. Back that way is the elementary school, and this is the football field, the baseball and softball fields. This is the Cobra Park up here. Okay, as we drive up here, this is the football field, and the high school is straight across over there. Very nice area. You can see the sun's coming up. It's gorgeous over there. All right, the high school up here. And then we're going to go through the tunnel and drop Claire off at the middle school. And then I'll show you the trail to Publix. And then there's other, there is Chick-fil-A up here. Yep, there's Eggs Up Grill, there's Publix, there's a bunch of different places we'll I'll show you in the, up in Cane Bay up here. Just be careful on you. All right, this is the trail here. Comes out to the middle school. I'll drop Claire off quick and then we will head to Publix. So you just pull through, there's all other golf carts over here. And she's off to school. All right, so as we continue, the middle school is right there. And you can continue on this trail. It's like the side of the middle school. We're continuing on the trail. There's Cane Bay Boulevard over here. We're coming down this trail up here and coming out at Publix. Church at Cane Bay is back there. There's another neighborhood in there near Publix. Well, there's a couple neighborhoods I missed just because of this route. But as you come up up here, there's a bunch of different businesses. There's a primary care, Cane Bay primary care. There's Tokyo Express. There is Sangri Animal Hospital. There's a Mexican restaurant right up in here. Easy access with a golf cart, which is crazy. Then we'll pull up to, I'll just take you around the, the parking lot real quick. All right, as we pull in, we'll go through some of these businesses in here that easy access. There's Eggs Up Grill right up here. We just went there for breakfast the other day. It's actually really good. There's a dentist, there's a bank, state farm, nails and spa. Let's go down this way. Down this way, Eggs Up Grill, eye care, orthodontics. There's a bakery for dogs. There's karate, there's physical therapy, Edward Jones, there's Smoothie King. Here's Parker's gas station right here. Very nice gas station. Then we have Chick-fil-A. There is AT&T Starbucks. There's Hank almost falling asleep. Don't fall asleep, buddy. There's a bank over there. And then across the way, there is some things too. There's a gas station. There is Marco's Pizza. If you cross over over there, there's uh, ice cream over there. There's Dunkin' Donuts. There's Buffalo Wild Wings. There's a new barbecue place called Sticky Fingers over there. And then we are going to be going into Publix right here. Uh, there's a couple other stores so there's a lot of different stores easy access with the golf all right if you want to find out more about cane bay or any place in the charleston or surrounding areas you can give us a call shoot us a text send us an email days nights weekends
say bye, Hank. And we'll get back to you and we'll get this preliminary conversation started and, and get it going. Keep it real, y'all. There are uh, one or two other neighborhoods that we aren't gonna hit, going to hit on this ride because the trail does go down the left-hand side. We're not gonna cross over to the right-hand side, but there is a few more, but we, as we continue, 